Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, okay. Hi everyone and welcome to the 34th edition of the ICRT vlog. We're coming back after a week-long break and we missed you. Um, okay. For the first story of this week, a scientist has completed the deepest ever submarine dive. He took a submarine and he uh, went to the deepest part of the world. And the shocking thing about this trip, aside from the fact that it breaks records, is also that he found plastic debris, plastic garbage at the bottom of the very deepest part of the world. It's kind of heartbreaking. This is an American explorer slash scientist. He's completed many dives before. This one was the record breaker. He went to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, which is basically like a place in the ocean that goes really, really deep down. At the deepest part of the Mariana Trench, it is actually 10,994 meters deep. And obviously that sounds like a huge number, but we don't know what that looks like. So if you could picture the height of Mount Everest, that's how deep the Mariana Trench is, plus another two kilometers. So this American scientist, he went down there to the very bottom of the Mariana Trench, and he spent four hours exploring and collecting samples for a scientific study. And he actually believes that he found four new species of deep sea crustaceans. But the sad thing about this story is that he also found a plastic bag and a couple of candy wrappers also made of plastic. This tells you how serious of a problem plastic in our oceans really is. When he came back up for interviews, he said him and his team, they are very excited about what they've seen and what they've learned and what they will learn from the samples they've collected. But one of the things they will be doing is they will be testing some of the sea creatures that they found and they will be checking to see if these animals have microplastics inside their body. So we've talked about microplastics before on the show. It's basically like super, super, super tiny particles of plastic and it gets all into the food chain. Eventually, you know, that microplastic will make its way back to us when we eat fish and shellfish and crustaceans and all those sea creatures. So they will be testing these deep ocean sea creatures to see if they also have microplastics in their body. If they do, that tells us that plastic is everywhere and it affects everything. Plastic in the ocean is actually a big issue in Taiwan as well. A Greenpeace report back in January this year, they said that they had found dangerous levels of microplastics in the sea surrounding Taiwan. The government has made commitments towards cutting back on the use of plastic and we can all do our part by not using one-use plastic items. Okay, and now on to happier news. Earlier this week, we heard about a group of of incredible scientists, inventors, creative minds who won an international invention competition. Actually, these incredible inventors are a group of preschool children. They are aged five and six, and they won this international competition. They won the bronze medal. So this is a group of six kids from Taichung Starlight International Kindergarten. They were entered into the competition, the Concours Lapine International Paris 2019 competition and their invention won the bronze medal. It was a coaster, a thing that you, you know, you can put your cups and your drinks on, a coaster slash a phone stand. They were interviewed about how they came up with the idea and they said they were making a origami like paper folding face masks and they were cutting out the eye holes and they realized, hey, this could be used to hold up stuff. They basically thought, what can we use this for? Through keen scientific observation, they noticed that adults when they're sipping their coffee or sipping their tea. They also like to scroll through things on their phone and they don't have a convenient place to hold their phones. They wanted to make something that would let their mom watch her dramas and also drink coffee or tea at the same time. And so they came up with this invention. The teacher at their school realized, hey, you know, this is actually a very good product. He actually entered them into Le Concours Lepine, this very prestigious international invention competition it's actually one of the oldest invention competitions in the world. This year, 2019, is their 118th 
round of competitions and there are competitors from all over the world. So these six children, they were the youngest competitors this year, the youngest entrants, and of course they won the bronze medal. And before I turn things over to Philip, you better have signed up for the ICRT Bike Day this year. It's coming up this month on May 25th and you could have multiple chances to draw for many, many prizes. The grand prize being an Apple MacBook. Ooh. Okay, so now I'm going to turn things over to my fellow news broadcaster, Philip Broussard. Um, what am I talking about? The story that I have for you today is found on Reddit and then again reposted on Apple Daily. So, you know, Reddit's a great place. There's nothing problematic there at all. <laughs> Basically, there's this photo that someone posted. American tourists were going into China and they've been getting a bit of pushback from some of the public. So on this photo you can see uh, it's in a restaurant. It shows a banner and on the banner it says from now on all US tourists must pay a 25% customs duty when dining and then the most shady part I would say it says if there is any inconvenience please consult the US Embassy okay thank you again for watching this week's episode of the vlog um, it was our 43rd 34th it was our 34th <laughs> Bye.